Hello and welcome back to HWL Radio Sports. I'm here with the co-host. Tony Ellis from Post Top Corporation. Got this Thursday, February 23rd, 2018. Uh, talking about the big show today. The world is waiting on what happened last night. The U.S. hockey, women hockey, defeated Canada by a score of three to two in a shootout. I mean, it was one of the best games ever. They had a shootout and they couldn't believe it. It was so bad that Canadians took their silver medal and didn't want to put it on. They they, they received the medals, but they took it off the leader because they were so hurt, so second base, they thought they was going to beat these women. But what happened was they um, the goalie, her name was um, Jacqueline no, no Lamy, uh, dancing. She was her name was her name was what? Her name was her name was Jocelyn. Lomarini Davidson. She's married. She was the one who uh, made the winning goal. She says she's from here? In overtime. No, she's from the United States, yes. She's from the United States. But what happened, it was overtime. She hit the winning goal that won the game. Um, they made it 3-2. It was 2-2. Two two. And actually, it was 2-1. They was winning. The Canadians was winning under a minute to go. And they tied it, made it 2-2. Two two. So they went to a shootout. And in the shootout, this Davidson girl um, won it. And made it three two. And then uh, the Goldie Manny Rooney, she was the one who stopped the Canadians from uh, tying up three three, and they went ahead and beat the Canadians. And first time this has been done in twenty four years, in two decades. Damn. And so. So that's big. With that win, it made, yeah, with that win, it made them more popular. It made them way more popular with that win. It made um, it made the women's it actually made women's hockey more popular so that was huge with the victory so the women so the women, so the women over there picking up the slack of the men over there representing for team america huh? yes yep yep that's what basically is. for team usa so they uh and i said i said you know they got a bunch of ratings their ratings went up immediately after that so you see more women signing up for um ice hockey and that's that um so shout out to United States women ice hockey team, gold medal champion. Mm, so where, so where does that, so where does that uh, put, where does that put us, at, uh, Team USA, on the, on the so medals? The medal count, okay, we got the, the total amount. Norway got thirty three, Germany got twenty four, Canada got twenty one. Hold on, you said well, Canada got how many? Twenty one. The Netherlands got sixteen. The United States got sixteen. The France got fourteen. So we basically, right now, in our fifth place. Okay, well, just um, you know, kind of, kind, of, kind of slow down, man. Shit, you going fa- you going too fast for <laughs> me? I'm on the show with you. I'm like, damn. Okay, okay. Norway got 33, Germany got 24, Canada got 21, Netherlands got 16, United States got 16, and then France got 14, and right. Russia got 13. And what's the name? Basically, fifth place. We in fifth place? Yeah, we in fifth place right now. So. Uh, but we had last night we had a big win in the Alpine skiing. The women's downhill first was Sofia uh, Gogia from uh, Italy. She set a record. Second was Raglan um, Mowenicki from Norway. And then we had Lindsay Vaughn, which is very popular in the United States. She got third. So that was big. And the bobsled, the women two men race. Germany got first. The uh, United States got second. And then third Canada. Our teams consist of Lenny Myers and Taylor Gibbs. Mm-hmm. And then the cross country skiing, Norway got first, Russia got second, and France got third. Um another thing another uh, event last night happened, the women teams uh sprint. United States got first, um Kick Randall and Jessica Diggs and then Sweden got second and Norway got third. Mm-hmm. And then tonight on a uh schedule for the eyes. Uh, Snowboarding is tonight, women's snowboarding, and then you get the bobsled tonight, and then you get an ice hockey semifinal for the men, which we won't be competing. We get put out. So that's the schedule for tonight in the uh, U.S. We're in the Winter Olympics. All right, so who's who's going? Who, who's it going to be between then? It's going to be, um, it's going to be uh, France, and it's going to be me for the two um, champions. You said who? On medal game. France, France and, and Germany. France and Germany? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just for the gold medal. So everybody has to watch on that. But they was hoping the United States, they just, we just couldn't compete. We couldn't even make it to the semifinal. We competed well in the trials, but we couldn't get to the uh, qualifying rounds. But hopefully next time we have a good chance. Mm-hmm. That's the NBA news. 
right. Uh, LeBron, NBA, they want to change it. Playoff format, and LeBron James, he want to leave it the same. He said that he disagrees with a potential proposal. He want to, he want to receive the 16 teams in the playoffs, regardless of the conference. The leagues have always had teams from Eastern Conference and Western Conference compete separately in the postseason with respect to conference winners meeting in the NBA Finals. Commissioner Adam Silver recently floated a proposal right, for 16 but, teams but, to receive But I'm with everybody else out there that don't understand this. Can you break this down? Like, what was he trying to do different? Okay, basically what they're trying to do is get the East Conference and the Western Conference. Hold on, hold on. You're breaking up. Okay. You're breaking up. You got the Eastern Conference and you got the Western Conference. Okay? Basically, what they want to do is they want to have the Eastern Conference will play against the Western Conference in the playoffs. And then the Western Conference will play against the Eastern Conference in the playoffs. And then when the finals, they will meet the East and be the East and the West in the finals. So they, they want to just keep the, the blind fans want to keep the East play the East and the West play the West in the playoffs. They don't want to change it. So that's something they, they're throwing out there. So what, what would you be know? the big difference? So what, could it be two East in the finals or two West in the finals? It is, no, no, it will it, be East and West in the finals, but during the playoffs, the East will play a West team as opposed to the East play an East team. See, right now, the East, all East play the East in the playoffs, and all West play the West in the playoffs. They try to change the way Eastern team will play a Western team in the playoffs. Oh, okay. So that's what they're trying to do. But it's, I think it's going to be, you know, it's the same because it'd be too. I think I favor the old way. I like the East and the East and the West and the West and they meet in the finals. But that's something just thrown out there. It ain't nothing, they, you know, they're going to change. They just threw it out there. So. Yeah, but I still think they need to go ahead and uh, do that, that, add that women's to that thing on NBA All-Star Weekend. You know, we got else mentioned that too, though. I think that's something going to come up somewhere the women's going to be involved. Because they was really disappointed with the 100000 down with their nails and report, but that's money. Yeah, but I mean, so you, you see know. you see what they did to the WWE at the Royal Rumble, and they're about to do it again at the Elimination Chamber. Right. And this is going to be the first elimination right. chamber for the women's. Another big, a big moment for the women. The, the Olympics, they over there killing. You got to give 2017 to the, into 2018 to the women because they should have been coming up 2017. Definitely well, was I mean, that it's year. It's only fair to give them an equal chance, too. I mean, that's equal opportunity. So I'm, I'm with that. If they change it, I'm not going to ever be against it because women got to have a chance in spotlight, too. Yeah. So I'm with you on that. Um, NBA rules, NBA fine Dallas owner Mark Cuban $600,000 for public statements that's relevant to the NBA. So they find him from being outspoken. Right. So uh, that's enough for him. That's a drop in the half for him, $600,000. I know, still, but, they, but still, he got fined <laughs> for speak, yes, speaking sir. his mind. Um, speaking his mind. Basically, that's what happened. Yep. So it's, it's called a, a, con, a contact of code, which becomes detrimental to the NBA. That's what they called it. Yeah, I thought we had freedom uh, of speech. Yep. Uh, Indiana uh, made Indiana Pacers get some news. Uh, they're bringing back a um, uh, player, uh, Robinson, Robinson guard, playing Robinson the third, coming back from the uh, Indiana Pacers. Uh, did you hear about so, Chris Bosh talking about he ready to come back? Who? Chris Bosh, Miami Heat. What? Yeah, he's he ready yeah. to come Is he back. He's healthy, though. That's what he still can play to shoot. Is he healthy? Yeah. And what do you know That's about this? What do you know about the G League? Because LeBron and them just signed somebody from the G League. I know about the D League. It's a it's the league under the NBA. It's the it's the development player development league. When like Dwayne Robinson just came from the league. Yeah, well, this it's dude this dude came from a, the G League. The G League. I heard bits about, but I'm not really quite uh, firm on that one. The D League is the league under. The NBA, and that's what they're about. It's the league developing right before they get to the NBA. But the G League, I'm I'm not too uh, keen on that one. Oh, yeah. I'm looking to that one. But I'm the D League is right under the NBA. No, I'm, about to I'm about to tell you about him. Cause they send dude, dude is a, uh, Who is this guy? Who is he? Marcus Thornton. You know who that is? Is he, is he tough? No, no. Uh, they, I mean, from what I they gave him a 10 day contract, and this is. This was just like yesterday when they gave him the contract. Mm-hmm. So the next game we should see him out there because he only got ten games. So they either oh, really? playing, yeah, they either playing on the, the the next game or the game after that. Mm. But it looked That's like he, he looked like he got a jumper. He's six four, and I guess he, they say he brings defense. Oh, okay. That's gonna be interesting. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't see him. Um, 
Rick Pitino, the NBA incidentally basketball, while we had this note, Rick Pitino, he advised that Universal Law of the Sue, the NCAA, was the harsh punishment that came out. He said the harsh the punishment was too harsh and it was too unfair. So he wanted, he advised uh, University of Louisville to put a lawsuit on the NCAA. He said they shouldn't be stripped of their yeah, that's, they shouldn't what, be fired. that's what I was asking somebody yesterday. I was like, man, so you mean to tell them, I, I, I heard the, they took the banner down. But I was yeah, like, they, they they taking the trophy and the title and taking it out yeah, of, and yeah. taking and stripping it and out of the yearbooks? Yes, yes. All the wins been vacated. Yes, it's a done deal. But she said it's unfair, and they said he said they should do a counter lawsuit uh, with them because he said it was totally it was, it was a step they went about it. It was true that it happened. He didn't, you know, he did not claim that. It was just a step they went about the whole ordeal. Yeah. So that's what the yeah, I think is I think it's pretty over, over. It's like, like I mean, I don't I don't know how they rules go, but like, damn. Like shit, well, they, shouldn't people well, get in trouble and they, sued and go to jail and everything? Well, but taking it out the yearbooks yeah. and the title, yeah, it's something that should, it's something like, it's something like it, was, it shouldn't be done because what happened? You know, this girl um, who told Dr. Bob made the book. It was a bench to it's a black Catholic university. They don't want to start that. They don't do nothing now. They figure it can happen again, so they make a statement. It's a statement they made. Yeah, but somebody statement. somebody said that. Uh, the reason that it happened is because the people went and got strippers to get the people to get do the recruiting. But my whole thing, right. but my whole thing, yeah. They no, they what they point was was without them enticing the people. The, they were saying that the players wasn't even supposed to be there. So without them being there, do they deserve the title? Yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, but, I'm just saying. Yeah, you're right for that. I mean that that this whole thing was a, it was a big deal because. The girl McGee, who came in, she wasn't gonna tell, and then she knew she could get some money from the whole thing. That's what happened. Somebody brought it to her and said, "Hey, you know you can get paid from this." She brought all the girls who was involved in this whole ordeal and made them make claims too. So when she found there was money, okay, that's when she got the book called Cardinal Rules, uh, Breaking Cardinal Rules. She got the book, and then she, when she found that money was involved, that's when, you know, everybody, who don't, when money is involved, they drop the bond. That's what, that's what I thought was sad. Why don't you tell her first if you're going to tell something? Mm-hmm. So it was, she got big, she got paid big off this book deal. When I say big, huge. Yeah. And then other girls, well, guess who other girls was involved in? It was her daughter. Two of us are daughter. Damn. And so, if, he, if Mama tell you tell, we gonna get paid. They gotta tell. That's what it was. So it was more it was deeper than what people think it is. It was a family thing. They got paid. Um, some news in college basketball last night. Virginia number one. Ooh, number one Virginia. Just see Georgia, fifty-five to fifty-four. People expecting big things from Virginia. Villanova defeated Paul by thirty-one, ninety-three to sixty-two. Xavier down Georgetown, eighty-nine to seventy-seven. Duke smashed Louisville, eighty-two to fifty-six. Oklahoma State defeated. Texas Tech, 79-71. In North Carolina, Manhandle, uh, Syracuse, 78-74. In Michigan, defeated Penn State, 72-63. So here we go. College basketball. So, guys, get ready because the tournament, tournament play starts in two weeks. So here we go. We've got Michigan State, number one. I mean, um, Virginia, number one. We've got Villanova, number three. Michigan State, number three. I mean, four. Xavier, number five. And Duke, number six. So who's number two? Number two is um, Oklahoma State. Oklahoma well, State. Hell, how do you give a rundown and leave out number two? <laughs> no, because yeah, number two, number yeah, Oklahoma State. So we got number one Virginia, number two Oklahoma State, number three Villanova, four Xavier, five is Duke, and then six is Gonzaga. And then in the women's basketball, because you're gonna be doing all two on that one too. They come up two. Number one is UConn, twenty six and zero. Mississippi State, number two, twenty eight and zero. UConn is twenty six and zero. Twenty six and zero, number one. Damn. Baylor, number three, twenty six and one. And you got Notre Dame, twenty five and two. And then round out the top five would be Louisville, twenty seven and two. Man. So that's your. So who was the that's first your, two? Uh, top five women. UConn, University of Connecticut, and Mississippi State. I want to see them two go at it. That sounds hey, like I they balling. You kind, you kind of mad because last year they got beat. They got beat. Uh, they ain't mad. The North Carolina State was tough. Like, I mean, South Carolina, South Carolina beat them last year. They beat them, and they mad. They want to come yeah, back. I was down there. Beat them at the last second the shot. Yeah, were you? Yeah. Man, they, well, they trying to. Carolina they, they wins. There. Yep, yep. They won, it, uh, they won it all. They won it all. And they beat Duke and Duke at the last second shot. 
So And that was the first time and that was the first time I seen uh home Kimball Walker. They had him on a, uh, oh, really? a bus. Yeah, they had him on a bus and I was like, hey, who the hell is this dude? Like it ain't Jordan. Man, <laughs> like yeah. I don't know who 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 does good do? though. Yeah, I didn't know about him then though, but the dude is good. Mm-hmm. And um, just like I said, it's something to be interested with dude because Utah, they won it so many times and they, they didn't win the first time last year. They try to get their uh, throne back, try and get their name back because they was over like, hey, the coach was mad. He talked about that in the interview. I heard the interview. He was like, hey, this shouldn't have happened on the last second shot. He's going to beat us, beat us, going to beat us on the last second shot. Mm-hmm. But that's really interesting. Okay, and I want to say one thing. I want the world to hear this right here. Pay attention, guys. Track and field. College track and field. Her name is Lena Irby. She's a true freshman out of Georgia. She's from Pike High School, Indiana. You ready for this one? She got the 400 meters. She's second in the NCAA with the times. And she's fifth in the whole world with a time of 51.48. She's third in the NCAA in the 200, 22.9. And eighth in the world in the 200 with time. But this is the same girl who won 12 state titles in a row in high school. And this is what she's doing in college. She is unreal. I'm going to say her name again. You will be seeing her in the Olympics, the next Olympics, I guarantee you. Lena Irby out of Georgia Bulldogs. Man. She's so fast. It's unreal, man. I mean, how, how do you be a freshman with the fifth, the fifth fastest time in the whole world? Yep, that's her. So pay attention to that name in track and field. Because we'll be hitting heavy on track and field, too. All right. Believe me. Yep. That's something that's upcoming what we'll be talking about. Because a lot of track and field names, the reason I, just, I tell you guys is because if you have a lot of track names, especially when you get to the men, the names up in the men, a lot of the names up in the NFL, too. So you hear the same, like a lot of fast guys in college, you hear their name in the NFL, whether they're playing defense or offense. So I said the main to be seen, so it, it, it's pay attention to that. All right. So, so we got, what, what games we got uh, coming tonight with the big NBA comeback? Uh, the big NBA comeback the game tonight. We got three. I think we got four games on deck. We got uh, Charlotte and Brooklyn, Orlando, and New York, Cleveland and Washington, okay. Philadelphia and Chicago, the Oklahoma, Sacramento. In college, you got uh, Gonzaga and San Diego, Purdue and Illinois, Cincinnati and Utah, and Arizona and Oregon State. And you got Houston and Memphis. So it's heavy, guys. The end of February. Because we've been hit hard in March, so this March Madness thing. This was my favorite time of year, March Madness. So get ready. We're going to rock and roll this thing. All right. Well, that's so, going to be the show for the day. So go ahead and shoot your shot. Thanks a lot, guys. You guys have a great day. Be good to yourself as well as to others. Thank you. All right. And there you have it, another good show at HWR Radio Sports. Go over to hwrradio.com, download the music app. You know, keep good music, new music, up to date music one of the best online radio stations out right now worldwide and important message to everybody out there in the world listening because i just want to tell y'all they after the nra it's the same plan a different a different uh what do they call it crisis the nra is the only reason you have your guns now if y'all back these people with this scare and go put pressure on the nra First, it's going to be your guns. Next, it's going to be martial law. So, I just want y'all to be aware of what you're doing or what's going on around you. Because a lot of people don't know, but I know. So, like I always say, hit my motherfucking music and I'm out.